Rottweilers, pit bulls, terriers, American bulldogs. These are just some of the 23 dog breeds that the center recently banned from being imported, sold or bred in India. The center also declared that the breeds are ferocious and a threat to human life. The move comes in the light of rising instances of attacks by domesticated dogs. A petition in the Delhi High Court has challenged the notification, questioning if it was based on any study that conclusively stated these breeds warranted a ban. The petition also says the sudden ban could lead to forced suffering or euthanasia for dogs that don't even have a bite history. One of the petitioners in the case is a professional dog trainer and he has argued that the ban would violate his right to practice any profession and hurt his livelihood. The Delhi High Court has refused to grant a stay on the center's order but it has sought a response to the petition. Meanwhile, the Madras and Karnataka High Courts have stayed the direction while the stay imposed by Calcutta and Kerala High Courts comes with some conditions attached. Uttar Pradesh, on the other hand, has gone ahead and implemented the ban. On ground, the directive has drawn a range of reactions. While activists have raised concerns over the sweeping nature of the ban, they welcome the regulation on sale and breeding of certain dogs. Activists say exotic dog breeds are best suited to their country of origin and should ideally live in a climate they are nurtured for, instead of India's hot and humid conditions. Activists also consider the ban crucial in stopping illegal breeding that is said to be rampant across the country. An activist pointed out that 90% breeding in India is illegal. Vulnerable breeds are trained as weapons or exploited for dog fighting. They are confined to small places and abandoned when they are of no use, activists claim. A large number of animal lovers have also taken issue with the center's reason for introducing the ban. Kennel Club of India said there are no inherently bad dogs, just bad humans. While dogs can be trained to be friendly, they can also become ferocious due to neglect and abuse. The Kennel Club also claims that stray or feral dogs may tend to cause the attacks, not purebred ones. In fact, the club in its petition goes on to cite a beautiful example of Hachiko, a dog who was honoured by the Japanese for its loyalty. Hachiko was an Akita Inu, a breed the centre now considers to be ferocious. Make informed decisions with comprehensive analysis on the go. Strengthen your portfolio with real-time market updates on the go. Create effective strategies with insightful expert opinions on the go. Grow on the go with CNBC TV18. Now streaming live 24-7 on YouTube.